So in this video, we're gonna go over how we can format automatically with ChatGPT a message that we need to send out that is important. Let's say a company-wide email on something that you're trying to get all of the employees of that of your company to engage with. So like one common thing would be like, um, I made up this, this prompt here, like, hey, can you send a company-wide email to all employees reminding them to update their talent and skills profile before this date? so that we can track employees for new opportunities and growth development. And I'll say, hey, this is from Micah at the HR professional development team at Acme Inc., right? So all the time you have to send out emails like this when you're in a company. So it may not be to the whole company, but you're gonna need uh, to build these emails. So this is the one way that you can accomplish this with chat GPT. Let's pass this in and the AI should, from here, go ahead and uh, format out um, you know, an email for you. So initially, like this prompt right now, it's giving um, it's giving this message back because I said, can I send? So I just need to restate um, slightly to say like, I don't want you to send it for me because it's reminding me that it can't go send an email for me, which is fine. But all I'm gonna do is, can you um, write out for me? So I'm just gonna change the phrasing a little bit. And this is just sort of the input output that you have with Jet, chat GPT based off of what it gives you. You can respond and say, yeah, hey, understood that you can't send an email for me, but can you build out the text for that? And so it's gonna go and do this now. Great, so we got a subject line, um, dear employees. It's a little bit formal, but we can actually ask like, hey, could you make it sound less formal or just like say like team comma as like the first line here? I love this, right? So um, we're asking all employees to update their talent and skills profile in our system. Um, updating your profile is easy. It even has instructions, right? Now, if I had given it a link and said like, here's where the talent profile is, it would have included that inside of here. Uh, but ultimately, right, we've automated this email. It looks really good. And all we would need to do is in that initial template that I um, pointed out right here, is you would just need to change this, tailor this to be what you want it to look like for your use case. So if you have a company-wide email about a holiday party or a picnic or um, how you know people keep leaving the, uh, the the coffee pot on when they when it's run out of coffee and it's burning in there, right? Like you can you could automate any email and you can tell it to have any tonality that you want and then it will build something awesome like this and this will be the output. So cool, I hope this was, this was helpful. Go ahead and uh, you know check out the next video. I'm gonna show you how to do some more useful things.